Welcome everyone. If we have not met, my name is Dr. Tony Camacho and I'm a holistic health practitioner, clinical herbalist, Reiki master, success in law of attraction uh, coach, and doctor of psychology. I absolutely love supporting people who are motivated to learn the importance of healthy nutrition and eating fresh food. I am motivated to help you gain clarity, understanding, and also to open your mind to the amazing benefits of eating healthy, fresh foods. If you have any questions during our time together, please feel free to post them below, and I will do my best to respond quickly. In the meantime, I'm going to shut down the video screen right now so I don't distract you from the presentation with my hand gestures and my head movements. Fresh produce is an essential part of living a healthy lifestyle. Processed foods such as frozen, canned, and refined foods have been proven to be one of the main contributors to autoimmune disorders and other chronic illnesses. But fresh produce can be expensive, and there's nothing more annoying than getting to your fruits and vegetables one day late when they're no longer edible. But you know that already, and that's what you sign up for this class. So during this time, I will be exploring tips and tricks that, will cause, that, will, that you can use to extend the shelf life of your produce. So now let's get started. You might be wondering, which fruits and vegetables should be sit on your kitchen counter or fruit bowl? Well, the answer is pretty simple. The ones that are more sensitive to cold temperatures and, uh, and actually stay fresher when stored at room temperature. And these include bananas, basil, cucumber, eggplant, garlic, grapefruit, green beans, lemons, lime, onions, oranges, potatoes, summer squash, sweet potatoes, watermelon, winter squash, and zucchini. If you've been storing these fruits and vegetables in the fridge, they're taking out valuable space. Keep them on a counter instead. Also, storing produce in plain sight will remind you to eat them. The following produce prefer chiller temperatures and will stay fresher for longer if they live in the fridge. Apples, asparagus, blueberries, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, cherries, cilantro, corn, dark leafy greens, grapes, leaves, lettuce, parsley, peas, pomegranate, raspberry, and strawberries. Some fruits and vegetables are more temperamental and prefer to be stored on the counter, counter until they're ripe and then move to the fridge to stay ripe. And these include apricots, avocados, kiwi, mangoes, melons, nectarines, papayas, peaches, pears, pineapples, and plum. Determining whether to store your produce in or out of the fridge is only half the battle. The other factor you have to consider is whether you can store specific fruits and vegetables together or if you separate them. As a rule of thumb, keep apples, avocados, stone fruits, pears, bananas, and tomatoes away from other fruits and vegetables, especially leafy greens. The ethylene gas that these fruits and vegetables release can speed up the ripening process into hyperdrive. So gas-producing fruits and vegetables are apricots, apples, avocados, bananas, only when unripe, cantaloupe, figs, honeydew, kiwi, nectarines, peaches, plums, and tomatoes. And the fruits and vegetables that are sensitive to these gas are bananas when ripe, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, cucumbers, eggplant, lettuce, peas, peppers, squash, sweet potatoes, and watermelon. Looking for a hard rock avocado to ripen in time for Avocado Tuesday? No problem. Place it on a paper bag with a ripe banana. You can do the same thing with roots like peaches, plums, and apricots. Ethylene is a plant hormone that is often thought as an aging hormone for plants of all kinds. In fact, nearly 100 years ago, researchers noticed that trees that were closer to gas street lamps had leaves that were wilting faster than trees that were stationed further away from gas lamps. Onions should be kept in a dry, dark space, but separate from fellow dark, dry pantry dwellers such as potatoes, winter squash, acorn, butternut, and pumpkins, sweet potatoes, and watermelon. Why? Because they like to share their scent, and no one wants a watermelon that smells like onions. Ew. Onions that are nested against potatoes will cause them to wilt and sprout more quickly than those that are not next to onions. Scallions or green onions can go slimy or dry out pretty quickly if you store them incorrectly. Next time you bring a bunch home from the store, place them in a tall glass or jar and fill the container with about two inches of water. Place a Ziploc bag on top of the whole thing and stick it in the fridge. When you use a scallion, don't throw away the white root. Instead, place it in another jar with some water and let it sit in the sunlight. Within a day or two, it will start resprouting and you will get a whole new bunch for free. Once you slice fruits, they won't last as long as when they were whole. 
Fruits like apples, pears, bananas, and avocados should not be sliced ahead of time if you can help it, or they will brown quickly. If you mass prep something like an apple ahead of time, submerge them in a bowl of cold water along with some lemon juice. Avocados contain enzymes that create a brown pigment when exposed to oxygen, which is why your guacamole looks super unappetizing the day after you make it. To avoid sliced avocado from aging or going brown, squirt it with lemon or lime juice. The citric acid will buy you at least one more day of green. You can also store, store sliced avocados in a container with a large piece of onion because the same gases that make your eyes burn when you chop those onions will also prevent the avocado from oxidating. Another option to prevent browning is to keep the pit. Place the pit in the center of your wok or store your half-cut avocado with the pit in place. An alternative is to mash up your avocado, place it in a bowl or container, then cover up with a layer of water. This layer protects the avocado from oxygen, and because the avocado is dense, it won't soak up the water. Just pour it out before eating and add more when you're done. Are, is your spinach and lettuce wilting too quickly? The most important thing to keep in mind is to keep the leaves dry. The best method for washing and storing leafy greens is to separate the leaves from the head and soak them in cold water for about five minutes. Then you want to gently swirl the leaves in water and transfer them to a salad spinner to dry. If you don't have a salad spinner, you can use a large clean dry dishcloth to gather and wrap the leaves in, gently balance and shake, the, and shake it to, um, to shake the excess water off, transfer them to another dry towel to dry off completely. Because storing wet leaves can turn your greens into mushy mess almost overnight, it's better to get them really dry. Once you've got your greens rinsed and dry, line a container with paper towels and place them inside. The hard size of the container will, keep, will help protect the tender leaves from getting crushed, and the paper towels will absorb the excess moisture. Berries are delicate and hate to be wet. I have found that the best way to handle them is to fill a large bowl with cold water and add a few tablespoons of white vinegar, and don't worry, they won't taste like vinegar at all. Gently let the berries go for a swim in the liquid, then transfer them to a paper lined plate to dry. Keep them in a strainer, microwave, steamer, or any storage vessel that allows air to filter through it, including those chemtrails containers where they usually come in. Do not put them in a sealed container because the trap moisture will make them grow faster. Never refrigerate potatoes, onions, squash, or garlic. The cold temperatures will change the texture and flavor of your foods. For example, with potatoes, the cold temperatures will turn starch into sugar more quickly, leaving you with a greedier, sweeter potato than what you probably want. And while you're at it, know that storing tomatoes in the fridge can also change their texture and cause them to lose flavor, so opt to keep them on a counter instead. Crisper drawers in your refrigerator have different levels of humidity from the rest of your fridge, which can help optimize freshness. While these drawers may seem like the perfect place to store outs and ends like your six pack of beer or soda, utilizing them for produce can keep your fruits and vegetables fresh for much longer. In some refrigerators, you will be able to adjust the humidity settings for each drawer. In this case, you will want to store thin, skinner, or leafy vegetables like asparagus, fresh herbs, and greens that are prone to wilting or losing their moisture quickly in the high humidity drawer. High ethylene producing fruits should be stored in a low humidity because an open vent will prevent from the humidity to, to, to be entrapped and then it will allow the ethylene to escape. If you do not have humidity controls, still try to separate your produce by ethylene production. Are your strawberries looking a little sad? Do your mangoes need to be eaten ASAP? Are your bananas on the verge of turning completely brown? Well, instead of forcing yourself to eating those foods or throw them away, Chop them and freeze them. Use them later in your smoothies. With the exception of basil, fresh herbs like to be stored in the fridge with a damp but not soaking wet paper towel to keep them fresh. If you wish, you can also store them like, like little mini bouquet of flowers. By trimming the inch or so of the stem, place them in a jar of water, cover them loosely with a plastic and sticking them into the fridge. Do the same for basil, but keep them on your counter. It prefers to stay warm and also has a tendency to pick up the smells of um, other things around it. Keep your celery from getting rubbery by wrapping it in aluminum foil. That's right. Unlike the plastic bag that usually comes in, the foil will let the ethylene escape and keep your celery crisp. Now, if your celery has already gone rubbery, then just place it in a little bit of water and it will crisp up. If you're planning on letting leafy produce sit for a few days, you can also delay washing and keeping them whole. Just wrap them like a reader in a few sheets of paper towel and place it in a plastic bag and leave, them, leave the top open. This technique should leave your leaf scripts up to several weeks. 
Bag veggies like green beans, snap peas, and snow peas can benefit from the same treatment. Wrap them in paper towels and put them in some plastic. A common mistake I see in storing mushrooms in plastic. The plastic dries the moisture and causes the mushroom to get moldy and slimy. After all, they are a fungi. So next time you bring mushrooms home, take them out of the plastic container and put them into an open paper bag. Or line a bowl with paper towels and place them in the fridge. Mushrooms need extra air circulation. Carrots and asparagus both tend to dry out quickly, so they can do with a little extra moisture. If you buy carrots with the leaves still attached, cut them off as they will pull the nutrients from the main root. Next, put them in a container filled with water and seal it in a plastic wrap, and then store them in the fridge. Asparagus slice to stay hydrated too, so store the stalks as you will do flowers, upright with the cut ends submerged in a bowl or a cup, and then place them in the fridge. I absolutely love getting to share with you um, this topic, and I hope that you learned something valuable about produce storage during our time together. I also want to add how proud I am of each of you taking the steps toward being more responsible with your food waste habits. And if you have any further questions, please post them below or email me at contacttony at drtonycamacho.com. Or if you have any questions about health, just feel free to send me an email there or go to my website at www.drtonycamacho.com. Please share the most valuable piece of information that you learn here with your friends and family. Also, if you feel, feel, if you feel like you need support on this journey, do not hesitate to ask me for help. I hope this experience has exceeded your expectations and know that, you, that I'm here to help if you need me. The information to contact me is right on your screen.